everyone and welcome to Classy Handmade. So today is the 28th of July. It's coming to the end of the month and I'm here to show you all the things that I have made in the month of June. Sorry, July. <laughs> so I have, I set a goal of some of the things that I would like to make. So I will be showing you that and some of the things that <clears throat> I had whips that I completed. So without further ado, welcome. Welcome to my podcast. Welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome to all my returning subscribers and friends and welcome, welcome. So this challenge was hosted by DOY Creation, Jeanette, and I'll link it in the description box below. And she challenged us to see how much you can make in the, or things are what you can make or what you make or what you finish in the month of July. So without further ado, let me show you. First, I will start with my sweater. And tell you the truth, I really can't say exactly <laughs> when I start this sweater, but it is knitted and it's been a while. So here is the sweater and it's made out of a yarn that Michael's was being discontinued. Let me show you how it looks. And I was working on it. So I said, let me finish this so it's something i had started a while ago and it will be a completed from one of my july finish so here is a sweater let me step back a little bit to show you it's uh i just i had like let me see one two three four five colors and i use all five of the colors to complete the sweater so this is what it looks like. I wish I had more so I could make it a bit longer. Let me step back a little bit so you can see. So this is how long it is. It don't have any buttons or button. It has like button bands as you can see here. So it's just a layer piece. But I'm thinking maybe I want to put somehow I bought some buttons. You know, so this is my finish knitted sweater. Okay, so let me bring you back up a little. So that's one finish item, and it's knitted. So I'll continue on the knitting and I knitted some headbands out of this book. I chose two books and I said I will make some of the stuff out of the books. I will see how much I can make out of the books. So here is the headband. Here are my completed headbands. So here and this is knitted. I already attached the button to the back so I made one this is a cream one and this color here is made this yarn here is from just yarn from the Dollar Tree and it's Premier this is Vanna's Choice and this is just yarn in burgundy colorway and I got two headbands out of one ball of yarn this one is a bit smaller and this one so, so four headbands finished knitting headbands so I also made some little I had some scrub yarn and I just made two scrubbies 
crochet. I had started these keychain. I made the keychain and I finished it up by adding the the hook to that. I bought the hooks on Amazon, so I have three pencil keychain that I finished. I also made some earrings and these are with the crochet thread okay and these those are teardrop earrings that i made i also made this one but i haven't finished it yet <laughs> it's finished but i have to put it onto the wire i don't have any more wires so and here is a complete pair that i finished This teardrop hoop here I bought from Michaels and I just crocheted. Let me see if I could find something that I could put behind so you I think you can see it. And I add bead to my earrings. <laughs> sorry. Oh boy, sorry. So here, this is one. So here you can see it. I hook it on a book so you can see it. This is another pair that I made and I made it with beads and then crochet thread. So that's two, three pairs. And here is a small one. This is the same hoop that I use for this one. But instead of having it on the outer side, I put it in the inside of the earring itself. So let me put it on the book so you can see. So you can see what it looks like and all of these have beads so here is my crochet earrings hope you can see so that's some crochet earrings that i made then i made some baskets i was busy guys busy so here is my crochet basket. And what I did, I put rope for the handle instead of just crocheting a handle. I made a little notch in this, like a little hole where I could push it through. And then I tied two knots. And this is using some cotton yarn that I have had because. So here is, I still have more of this. So I should say that I have. And I made one basket. See the inside, I have some leaves inside. And this is the basket, one basket. And here I have another basket that I made. And this basket I made using this yarn that I bought from Hobby Lobby. It's yarn B and it's yarn ID and the color is seal. It's a new to me yarn. I bought it when it was on sale. The original price was $5.49 and I pay $1.39 on sale. So like 70% off. Guys, this, this yarn is so soft. So soft. Beautiful yarn. But at a time when I went to the sale, they were only selling the gray. I think I only end up with one skein I found. So I made this basket. This basket, I was trying to make a hat. And I came up with a new stitch. If you look at this, you see this is a double, no, half double crochet stitch. I will show you how to do this stitch. I never saw it before it's new to me so this is a half the but the thing is it don't have any stretch to it. it it does not stretch so that's why I end up making a basket because it's not stretching to the stitch how the stitch is constructed it's not stretching to fit you will have to make it big just to fit on your head or to the size of your head. It's not stretching to fit. So I just take it and make it a basket. And then I make 
some flowers and put it on and I also did the same thing I put some rope handle cord handle is a cord so this is what it looks like I think this stitch is perfect for basket because it see it show the ridges and it's all in line so that's my finished basket so I have two no I have one more this basket is not as sturdy as the cotton basket. It does not stand up. I have the cotton basket inside. That's why it's standing up. It's the fab, the yarn is very soft, but I didn't want to lose it out. So I just make it a basket. Why I'm telling you this, because just in case you want to try this yarn and say, oh, I'm going to make a basket. It's not good to make basket because it's very soft. It would stand up if you put something else in pack your yarn or whatever you want to pack inside but on its own it would not stand up okay then i made this one out of scrap <laughs> scrap yarn and this is a scrap basket i think i held like four pieces of yarn strings of yarn It look like no it's three you see i didn't weave in my end and i have some yarn inside i love this color and it is so sturdy so what i did i hold it mainly with just scraps of all types of yarn but the main color was the red so the red basically was carried out throughout the basket and see most there's the bottom so that's three basket i made all right guys so it's we are already in 12 minutes and i still have lots more to show you so i made this blanket i always want to make a c to c blanket and i made this one i'm looking for the ball band to show you I used the carrot cake and I had four balls of this carrot cake that I bought from Michaels and it was on sale I bought it a long time ago and I had it and I made this C to C use it and let me give you the spec on specs on this it's I think it has some wool in it it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool 445 yards and I use four balls of this so here it is the blanket I can't even spread it out for you to see how big it is see I washed it so you could see it's creams and gray and then I put on my label on it and this label is from all this wood so guys i i look what i did i just put the edge in i just chain like five and so on and then just go in to the space to give it a little edge in see i'll probably take some pictures and insert it somewhere even at the beginning or at the end or somewhere along so that's my finished C to C blanket. So I finished my C to C blanket. So my challenge was to make some amigurumi from my new amigurumi books. I bought this book at Joanne, Sweet Crochet Friends by, Anyhow, I can't, I don't want to butcher the name. I'll put it and see if you can see it. Cook some cookie. Anyhow, I have the first one and this is the second one I have. So I made some of the amigurumi out of this book. I made Elliot the elephant. And this is what Elliot the elephant looked like. I made Ellie. Elliot the elephant here he is very cute I made it using 
just yarn and this new to me yarn that I bought from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents I use the blue this let me see what color blue. denim it's called comfort classic and the color denim I use for a shirt very soft yarn but it's a bit mm, let me see if I can show you so it's very it's very stretchy it would be great for like a nice socks thick socks but that's what I used it's okay it have 22% nylon in it visco polyester and nylon it's uh, 150 yards so I use this for the shirt I use the navy blue for the pants so this is Elliot the elephant so that's one I made out of the book I made Mimi the bunny and here she is and this is my version of what I made I did not her ears is attached to the hat I just attach it to her head I think I like it this way better because it's not staying down anyhow so here is my Mimi the bunny I use cotton yarn for this that I had and this is the milk cotton guys this milk cotton I keep saying oh nice it is it is very nice so this is Mimi the bunny so that's two and I made so I should have marked the pages I make one I have two more that I made from this book and I think it's Jojo the lion and this is Jojo the lion that is supposed to look and here is my Jojo the lion <laughs> my Jojo the lion and this is all the body just cut just yarn and is closed just yarn I used and some of this is just yarn and some of it is some scrap that I had so this is Jojo the lion okay then I made one more out of this book and it's the third turtle could find it sorry for all the ruffling rustling so here is the little turtle that I made so, and let me see if I find the name of it what's the name of the turtle Jimmy the turtle so here is my Jimmy the turtle <laughs> I did not put the embroidery on his back. I'll probably do that. And I didn't make a hat for him. Because I like the little spots on his head. So here is my Jimmy the turtle. Alright. So far I made four amigurumi out of that book. There was an amigurumi that I was making. And I talk about it in one of my videos that I ran out of thread yarn because and I had already made the head so I needed to make the body and all the rest of the parts and it's a <clears throat> excuse me try teratops so it was this I was supposed to make And here he is. This is mine. I think I got close to the head. I think I went to Joanna and I bought this big twist yarn. 
I don't see the difference in the yarn. So I guess I did buy the right yarn. The texture of it feel different, but the color looks the same. And I trim it with some peach, light peach color to go with the orange. So this is my Triceratops. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So I finished that. Then I finished adding a keychain to my little cookie cat for my daughter. And I finish this little moosh. I stuff his head. So that's another amigurumi. And I also made this little lemon some time ago, but it's here. I'm showing it to you. Anyhow, so that's all my completed item for the month of July. So, if I was supposed to count, let me count and see what I finished. So, guys, I finished 23 items. Maybe I missed something or what. But that's what I'm counting. 23 items I finished and I'm still working on stuff. So, I'm looking forward to see all the other makes and what people are making and so on. So, I will come back next week, my regular try because next week the kids are going back to school and it will be busy anyhow so thank you guys i hope you enjoy and my all my makes for the month of hashtag make 2022 so until next time i'll see you bye <laughs>